Okay, so we've gone through a lot of lessons and done a lot of fancy stuff, but we have forgotten one thing. I don't know whether you've noticed, but we haven't used our second finger yet, which is a really important finger. So we're gonna introduce it now, and a really easy way to do it is just to play the C major scale. We're gonna start at the bottom, which is a fingering that you're already familiar with. And then here, when I get to the D string, instead of going with my third finger down, I'm gonna go with my second finger down, then the fourth, and the second finger on the A string. So let's just play this slowly. in the C major scale, as you notice, it starts a little changing a little bit here because we're a little bit different, you know, between our notes. So let's try playing our C major scale a little faster. Going down. difference between the 1 3 4 fingering and the 1 2 4 fingering is that you're gonna have to stretch a little bit more than maybe is totally comfortable between your second and your fourth finger. It's a bit of a stretch I want you to play those three notes a couple of times and get used to the different spacing that you have to do. Even me, with my big hands, I need to stretch a little bit between my second and fourth finger. Now we can play a two octave arpeggio. Remember we played triads earlier on in our lessons? This time we can actually do a two octave arpeggio. So it'll sound like this. And that is using your second finger. <laughs> 